truth be told, I've never bought a single lottery ticket in my entire life. I've also never gambled a single time in my life, but I actually have become a millionaire in my mid-twenties, and I went from broke to rich in about 12 months, and it happened so fast that it kind of felt like I did win the lottery. Not because I'm super smart, I'm, I'm not. I failed junior English class in high school, I got all B's and C's and D's in high school, I don't even have a college degree. The money didn't come because I figured out a special business. I didn't. And if anything, I'm in one of the worst professions you can be in, statistically speaking, to make money. I'm an author and a YouTuber, basically. 95% of authors don't sell 2,500 copies in a lifetime. At $3 per royalty, it's actually about $8,000 in a lifetime. And according to Authors Guild, the full-time author earns about $12,000 per year. And YouTube's even worse. 3% of creators earn 90% of the money. The average YouTuber makes under $10,000 per year. So based off of the data, I should have been hoping to win the lottery because I would have had a higher probability of financial success. Instead, I did something very weird. I read that many billionaires and millionaires used money affirmations as a secret to train their mind for financial success. And I picked five main money affirmations when I was 23 years old. And by the time I was 25, I was a millionaire. And in a moment, I'm going to share with you these five money affirmations that work instantly. But first, I just want to kind of make a disclaimer and warn you. I'm not even asking you to believe me. I would actually prefer if you don't believe what I'm saying. All I'm asking you to do is just test it for yourself. In science, how does it work to come up with a new answer, right? Scientists don't decide what's right and wrong based off of their feelings or personal beliefs. At least they're not supposed to. That's the scientific method. It's hypotheses, and then they test these hypotheses with real-life data to see what's true. So I tested it for myself, and I didn't believe that it would actually change my life in some magical way. But I did suspend my disbelief, and like scientists, I tested the hypothesis that money affirmations can actually change your finances. And the data was irrefutable. Like I said, I went from broke to a million dollar business by the time I was 25 years old. So I'm not asking you to believe me. I would prefer that right now you don't believe that this will work. I'm simply inviting you to test it for yourself and see how your bank account and financial life changes forever. Now, one of the other very important things is to write these down on a piece of paper and once you commit them to memory, read them out loud in the mirror for a few minutes in the morning and at night. So you write these five down, put them on the mirror, read them out loud and see yourself, look yourself in the eyes. And one of the other things that I did that worked very, very well that I still do every single day is I listen to a financial success hypnosis. I actually have a free success hypnosis that I give away. You can click right here and download it. It's pinned to the comments and it's in the description right there down below as well. It's jakeshypnosis.com and it's my free financial success hypnosis because we are controlled by old limiting beliefs about money, about how much money you can make, if you're good enough, if you're smart enough, if you're not good enough, if it's easy, if it's hard, if anyone in your family did well, if they didn't, you probably inherited those beliefs. And we have to change them and reprogram them with daily constant spaced repetition, which is constant spaced repetition, five, 10 minutes a day, listening to a financial success hypnosis, and you can start to change it. So it's free right there down below. And let's dive into these five money affirmations you can use right now. So the first financial affirmation I made is large sums of money come to me quickly and easily. So you can comment that down below, say it out loud in your head. Large sums of money come to me quickly and easily. Write it on a piece of paper. Get that one into your head because psychologists tell us that the easiest way to memorize anything especially an affirmation, would be by making it short and rhythmic. And that's why this one is so powerful. It's quick and it has a rhythm, quickly, easily. So I invite you to just say it a couple times to yourself, feel it. Large sums of money come to me quick and easy. Large sums of money come to me quick and easy. The second affirmation 
that I used. And the first one that I learned from someone else is from Mike Dooley. And he said, I'm a happy spiritual millionaire. Again, it's really short, so it's really easy. I'm a happy spiritual millionaire. I'm a happy spiritual millionaire. And I just like started getting excited about it. When I would drive my car, I wouldn't listen to music. I would just say them out loud to myself. Because when you say it out loud, it's one thing, right? But it's another to actually be saying it in a genuine way. And a lot of times, money affirmations or affirmations of any kind don't work because people say them once or twice and they just say it like, yeah, large sums of money come to me quick and easy. Yeah, I'm a millionaire. And they say it like a couple times and then it's done. But just like if you are building certain muscles and you're going to start going on runs every day, those muscles have to get those legs, the caps, the hamstrings, they have to get used to it. And in the same way, the cells in your brain have to get used to these. They have to start feeling natural. And the way they feel like that is through genuine repetition. So I turn down the music and I just go like, I'm a happy spiritual millionaire. I'm a happy spiritual millionaire. Woo, yeah, I'm a happy spiritual millionaire. Sometimes with a bunch of energy and sometimes just like, yes, I'm a happy spiritual millionaire. The thing is, that's actually not crazy. Because your brain doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not real. So when you do it with genuine energy, your cells in your brain respond to it. And your your neural connections in your brain start getting coded for wealth. The third one is the first one that I learned from my mentor, Bob Proctor. And originally, when he taught me it, he told me to actually write it down on paper 10 times a day while I listened to a success hypnosis. And he said... I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. Money comes to me increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. And now pretty much even to this day, I turn on my success hypnosis. I let my my subconscious get engaged through the ears, through hearing it, while I write it down. So you can get my success hypnosis, click right here, or it's pinned to the comments and in the description. So I turn it on and then I just write that because he said, write it 10 times a day. And it makes sense, right? You're coding it into the cells of your body, into your brain. I'm seeing it going down on paper. I'm hearing these types of words at the same time. It puts you in a hypnotic state where you start brainwashing yourself for money. So I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. Now, number four was a super important one for me because I used to not believe that I could make money as an author and a creative person. And I had some you know, bad beliefs that I inherited from the world that you can't make money off your passions and that type of stuff. So if this is you, then this one's super important. I give my talents with love and I'm wonderfully blessed financially. When you give your talents with love, and you don't work out of fear. Everything happens perfectly for you. You just have to train your mind to step out of that fear. I give my talents with love and I'm wonderfully blessed financially. You can comment that down, say it to yourself. I give my talents with love and I'm wonderfully blessed financially. Now, number five is I love money because it comes when I call. And when I first heard this one, it actually sounded silly, I admit. Like money was this friend that I could just call and it would come. Like, yeah, right. But if you actually think about it, what's most people's internal dialogue about money like? I know when I was broke, I used to resent money. It was like an old friend that abandoned me. Like, hey, money, you're hurting me because you never answer my calls. Like, I'm trying really hard, but you're not showing up, and this is unfair. Can you hear me, money? Hello? No, I don't like you, right? It was this weird back and forth like that, hoping it would come, but then, you know, cursing it out for not coming. And that was keeping me from changing my financial life because there was an incongruence between my conscious desire and my subconscious programming. And the truth is, you're not a victim to money. Money's your servant. Money is your servant. You are the master. Money actually needs you. It cannot serve its universal purpose 
as a medium of exchange without using you and you becoming its master. So think about it. I love money because it comes when I call. I love money because it comes when I call. So there you have it, five money affirmations that work fast. Let me know in the comments which one of these speaks to you the most. You can comment it down below and give this simple process a try. Write these down, read them in front of the mirror, start to use a daily form of success hypnosis to reprogram your subconscious mind. You can check mine out for free. Click right there. It's my free financial success hypnosis where you can check it out pinned to the comments and in the description right there down below. Have a beautiful day. Great things are coming. Take a deep breath because everything's about to change and fast.